part six of Life is Strange. It's going poorly back again, and this is where we left off. Max having a bit of a rest on her bed, a bit like me, bit of a lazy bum. Um, not a morning person. I like my sleep. Right then, let's uh, get her up and crack on uh, with the game. Right, if you remember, we were coming back to the room for the flash drive. If you got on the note, took a picture in the mirror, had a look at the wall, we turned the power strip on and off, a little look out the window. A couple of bits we've not done in the room. Obviously, we got the picture out the drawer, uh, had a little look at those pictures, uh, look, look at the books, you got the, the hi fi. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that don't too really hipster? Need to play that. I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Uh, we had a sticky note over here which we've not looked at, so we'll look at that now. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Hey, girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Right then, so the flash drive's not in here. But we'll have a little bit of a look while There's we're here. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Okay. <laughs> Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Okay. Laptop for a look at uh, our book. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Bit of reminiscing that. Uh if we looked at the post, the pictures, yep, we looked at them, didn't we? Uh, what did we have? Yep, looked at the films, the plant we didn't water. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. This action will have consequences, so even watering the plant will have consequences. Well, I'm quite happy to, to water a plant. I can't honestly see what that will actually do, but... I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Okay, uh... The book. Instant film. Yeah, we already looked at them. Anything over here? Cookies? I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. I like cookies, but I don't like coconut. Aha, we've got a drawer we can open. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. I will never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. Ain't that sweet? Mum and Dad love me. It's good to know. It's the not clothes. exactly pretty in pink, but... No shits are given. I like my... Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Bit of a weird looking uh, picture there. And we have a guitar. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Let's have a bit of a sing song then, shall we? Do 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 do. Yeah, that's enough of that. Right. Pennant. I'll Beautiful. miss going to the games with my dad. Pen Go Thunderbirds. I think we're about done for this room then. Right. Uh, need to crack on and get the flash drive. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh dear. That doesn't look good, does it? Did, Welcome uh, to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Obvious, but true. <laughs> I'm going to put something on there. I think there was another one up here that had something. Yes. So, let's rub that off and put something else in its place. Put a peace symbol. 
chill out, man. Right, this action will have consequences. Well, a little bit more friendly. Uh, Juliet. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Let's have a chat with Juliet then. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? She's your friend. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Mason, Juliet Patson, Juliet Olsen, or Juliet Watson? Uh, I suppose we've got a one in four chance of guessing. Let's go with Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Right. We can rewind time and we'll get it right then, won't we? So hey, another Juliet. Chat. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Skip that. Uh... Ridiculous. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Would Dana do that? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. Uh, you typical. could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her. Uh. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. So she's not budging then. Taylor is a slave. No boys allowed. Obviously not in a girl's dorm. Juliet. Juliet, extreme reporter. All right. Victoria's room and the door is conveniently open now. So we've got to find some sort of proof that the uh, Dana girl didn't send the uh, text to that girl's boyfriend. So we'll look at clothes. Dior, Givenchy, those boots are made for walking runways. Nothing there. Let's have a look at this. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Denied. Oh, what was that? Something else on there. I think it was the same thing, wasn't it? Gallery letter. Yeah. Uh, She's so actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. I've got a poster. Oh, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. That looks like. Aha. Speaking of selfies. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. We'll take a photo. I thought this looked like the uh, photo in the notebook. <laughs> Very clever. I like it. So, yep, that's another one. And Max is giving Victoria the middle finger. Tablet. Uh, what we got? Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. So, we've got a tablet or a laptop? No, officer. I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? 
Maybe I will join her posse. Uh, just uh, browsing the web for a 3D printer. Nothing interesting there. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Right, and we've got her laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. There you go. It's so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention that Juliet mentioned to Juliet that I saw a nasty sext from Dana to Zach's phone. Damn as, believe me, and so I expect there'll be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Now I wish I had a laugh at her for tipping the paint over her. So print email. So what have we got? Another missing persons poster book. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Yep, she blatantly fancies her uh, lecturer, doesn't she? Right. Anything else on here I can? Have a look at. Well, short. Saw a sticker. No, can't seem to get an angle on that. So, I've got the Gazette. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Bit about the Vortex Club in the Gazette. Let's grab the email. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. <laughs> that's funny. Square Enix uh, sneaking in a Final Fantasy reference there. Very clever. Right, I think we're pretty much done with this room. Got the email evidence, so let's leave. Back to Juliet, and we'll show her the Juliet, email. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's uh. see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. That's what I came for. Right. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. So what do we got? Cheerleader outfit. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. You could make a pretty good cheerleader. Laptop. Be a bit nosy while we're here. This is both sad and pathetic. Been a bit of a nosy Parker reading someone else's letter. So we can speak to Dana. Oh, what was that? It would be a cool sticker without the words. Got a sticker on there. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Oh. There's that damn flash drive. That's my flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> Love the Lord of the Rings voice there. Very humorous. So I can pop the flash drive in. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Oh, dear. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go.
part seven of Life is Strange. Um, just a little cut out there as we've been nosy. But I could rewind and make it up to her. We've been nosy and picked up the pregnancy test, which upset Dana. So we're going to have a rewind here. Put that back. So we're going to pretend we didn't even see the pregnancy test and leave that alone. Good Lord. Dana really was on her own. So I'm guessing then, uh, add one and one together, that with the pregnancy test and the maternity book, the l young lady's probably pregnant. What we got on there? I assume Dana kept the appointment. Yep. Pretty much sums it, uh, confirms it, doesn't it? Appointment, maternity book, test. Well, we're not going to upset the girl. Um, we're just going to leave that alone. And we're going to use the uh, flash drive in a sec. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Right, uh, let's use the flash drive then, see what uh, this brings us. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Weird Science, oh, one of my favorite films, uh, Homework. Warren G's incredible film library, greatest TV shows ever, Muzak, randoms, not downloaded, The Party Buster, Unholy Obscenities, and a folder called Max. So I thought we did just use it. Of course a popular cheerleader well, like Dana would have a million friends. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Can't seem to, to do anything on there unless I've got to go back to my own room and do it, which I'll probably have. Let's have a quick chat with... Uh, Dana really does look stressed about all this. Quick chat with Dana. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I heard a rumor about you. Victoria is not nice. Juliet gets her rage on. Uh, so right, what, what, what are we gonna say? Right. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy? What do you mean? He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Right, so we could ask her about the, the room that we've heard, but um, she clearly got upset over the pregnancy test. So we're going to leave well Dana alone. takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. I haven't seen anything in here. Makes me think I can grab another pick. We've got uh, is that a park bench with the sun coming up. Yeah, American football, a bus, and then the bird. So... They're either coming up somewhere else. So I can't seem to read the uh, flash drive on her laptop. So we'll go back to my room. And we'll try it in our own laptop. It lets me. Bit fiddly. Can't seem to get position. There we go. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Oh, 
Oh, I can't seem to to do anything with that. Ah, we've got a text from Mum, or Mom, as the Americans say, so we'll better text her back. So you told tales about a Blackwater honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP t so we can talk about it. Well, I didn't make it up. He did have a gun. Uh, what we got? Kate Warren. seem to have to meet up with Warren. Ah, there we go, sorry. I was thinking we like to read the, the flash drive. I've got to meet up with Warren with, with the flash drive, right. Okay. I think we're about done in the girls' dorms. Um, go back in Victoria's if you want to, but no need to. Um, decided that I'm going to leave Dana alone with the pregnancy thing. Oh, just got a text back from Warren. So. Ah. Yeah, keep your air on. I'm coming. So, I don't know about you guys, but I've really enjoyed this so far. Quite twisty. Um, shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. The action will have consequences. Victoria's texted me now. And we should hopefully have that picture of the American football. There we go. Well, not picture of the football, but picture of the. Uh, now that's what I call instant karma. <laughs> picture of the broken window caused by American football. I wondered when that was coming. Um, there's also a park bench, isn't there? Near a sunset. And a bird somewhere. I can hear some birds tweeting, but. What have we got up there? No, it's a squirrel up there. It's not a bird. Yep. Epic fail, Zach. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Well, these never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I am definitely the chosen one. It's, uh, Max is the female version of Neo. What's Zach up to? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. <laughs> right, there is a bird picture near a tree. Is that a gravestone? Well, can't see any gravestones around here, so don't think it's around here anywhere. Right, back to the main campus. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo or intervene. Take a photo, Let's get some evidence. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Doesn't look good, whatever that was. Hope you enjoyed the show. 
Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, right. I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could oh. rewind and try something different. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, she is a friend, and you need to help your friends out, so... Let's rewind. And instead of taking a photo, we will intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Sod off, Dewey. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. A good day for the I day. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, nope, we're going to stick with that, help a friend out. So, right, finally go to the main campus. It's a nice day at the Blackwell Academy, and we're off to the car parking lot um, to find Warren to give him the flash drive. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Aha, so we have the Illuminati symbol on there. There's no way I can walk to the town from here. Besides, I need to see Warren. I don't nope. get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Juliet, pretty upset. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Right. Yep. It's like there's Warren hanging around over there. And, uh... Is that a little bird picture? Well, it's a bird, but it's not letting me take a picture. Uh, there's the bus, I think. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. So, we're gonna finger a bus, are we? Giggity. Uh, that dog. dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. So, let's be, uh, let's be naughty, shall we? It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. This must be the photo. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. So, that's another one then. So we only have two more. We have the park bench, the sunset and the bird. Wherever they are. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Yeah, you do get people like that in life, sadly. Um, I've got a neighbour near me that decides that they'll park on uh, part seven of Life is Strange. As I was saying, um, you've got the idiot here who's parked across two handicapped car parking spaces 
Um, I've got a neighbour a little bit like this that decides that they need to take up two car parking spaces and they don't park in the in their own one. It's very annoying. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Yep, you get a lot of insensitive uh, idiots about, unfortunately. People that, that just don't give a shit. But as you found out in the game, karma um, will bite them on the ass. Who toilet papers a bike? <laughs> Makes me think of Monsters, Inc. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Right, I'm sure Warren is uh, dying to see me. And obviously the family, I assume, are desperate Come on to over here. Please. find that missing girl. Yeah, alright, chill out. We're going to come and speak to you. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur that does sound better than thief ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust seen it i was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too so you're sensitive Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Faster pussycat kill kill, how so? No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! Ooh, getting up in my face. I told, I him, told the him the truth. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Ooh. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. 
You again. Go, go, I got this. Get in, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. Whoa, the shit has hit the fan. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. This is the infamous Chloe, then. Your best friend that you've not called, called for months. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Right. Um, I'm assuming we're probably pretty close to the end of the first episode. So, got it won't play without any power. TV? Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. 
couple of private pics of my my friend. So, uh, Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Auto repair bill. Post on the wall. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Power strip. Switch on. Laptop, desk, search, missing posters again. Postcard. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Friend of Chloe's then. And uh, we have a drawer. Can we search the drawer? We had such a blast drawing these together. Drawings of uh, Chloe and Max. Being rather yeah, nosy here. Like dirty laundry. Gross. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Oops. Um, well, we'll rewind that, and we'll just look. Old at cardboard boxes. Just look at the box. Uh, closet. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Yep, compared to the girl on the picture, um, she's nothing like her at all, is she? Right, what we got? A box. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Yeah. Uh -huh, so that's Rachel. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. So what happened? What about your mom? What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She couldn't wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Right then, so it's all starting to make sense. Uh, Rachel Ambers is obviously pretty tied in to what's going on around here. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her?
little bit more reminiscing there. Memories of uh, Max and Chloe's childhood. It's been quite a while since we've seen each other. And she said that she left at 14, I think it was. So that's quite a long time. Four years. Right, we have a camera to fix. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? I knew that was him. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! So we've got a missing gun. Oh, we know he's quite an aggressive character. Um. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. I don't get the attraction of putting that animal heads or anything like that on the walls, personally. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Cool, now it's opened. So, we've opened the door that was locked on the other side. Nothing. This is so lame. No tools in there. Nothing in there. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Pretty creepy stuff, but we're gonna rewind that so they don't know I've been here. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. It looks like he's been spying on the young Kate, doesn't it? Which is not good. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Should I switch this on? Decision. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Pretty creepy. So, um, not only does he want to install cameras in the uh, school, they're in pretty much every room in the house as well. Well, Hopefully not the toilets in the bathroom, because uh, that's just uh, wrong on every level. Blue plank. Oh, they won't let me. Nothing. This is so... Blame. Yeah, we know. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Right, so we haven't got the right tools here. Can you open this drawer? Chloe's stepdad is a veteran. Yep, we've done that, haven't we? Picture on the wall, anything to do with that?
Right. I need to find precision tools downstairs. So, we're a little bit stuck at the moment as to where they are. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Right. No need to go there now. Okay, I'll go back to the bathroom and uh, try and switch on the light if I can, but it's not letting me. Okay, so where haven't I looked? Gun rack. Yes, score. Target, ah, what's that? Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except, I can't reach them. So, let's try turning on the washing machine then. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Use the old sliding cardboard trick. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Ah, of course, yeah. Silly me. That does not look stable. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Still got to rewind a bit more. Okay, tools still up the top. Cardboard there, so let's push the cardboard underneath. There we go. Turn the washing machine on. Skip that. Yeah. Tools fall on the cardboard. Aha! Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Let's turn that off. Now, on to fix my camera. Should go back upstairs and repair my camera. All right, I thought I'd do it down here. Never mind. Right, back upstairs we go then. I wonder if this is going to be anything like butterfly effect of being, you know, looking at the picture or looking at the writing and uh, if you can travel back to that specific place in time. Ah, there's the light switch. I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. Looks like someone's on medication. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Okay. 
This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Leave it how we left it, and let's go back into Chloe's room. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Looks like she's struggling. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there. Hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question, did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used All awesomely. Right, guys, the audio and seems I'll snag this picture out. as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Yeah. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit reason. out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This day couldn't get any stranger. Nope, if, uh, I've still lost sound in the game. Guys, um, I'm gonna quit back out and uh, see if I can, can save it and fix it. So, game of Paulie back with part 10 of Life is Strange. I uh, thought I had a few audio problems there because I couldn't hear anything at all. I had no game sound uh, coming through my headset. But when I played the video back, it recorded all the audio, even me uh, telling you guys I couldn't hear any sound. Uh, so, apologies for the, the, the 
brief muck up there at the end of video nine, but we are actually on video ten now. Um, we're about to talk to Chloe. She's just put a music CD this would be on. a great shot of Chloe dancing. And she wants me to take a photo, so that's what I'm about to do. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off, turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up, we need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm, I'm not a kid you. anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? One, two, this is three. going nowhere fast. Shit. I better look someplace else. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Let's take the blame. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Why oh, do I feel like I got the wrong end of the stick there? Well, I can rewind time and uh, let Chloe take the blame as it is her fault, or I can take the blame myself um, I'm guessing if I blame Chloe, we're probably not going to stay friends. And I want to get to the the bottom of the Amanda disappearance, so... If you open the window, we can both get the hell out of here. Let's take the blame. What are friends for, eh? Lighthouse from the intro. Very interesting. Gorgeous sunset. Reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. 
I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Spooky. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. Yes, this is definitely the same place. People can be such pigs. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. That old fence is part of the landscape now. The funny. path behind it leads to the parking lot. A funny feeling the last couple of pictures might be here. Of the bird and the park bench. Or at least the park bench. I might have missed the bird one. Text from Warren. Have a quick look. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Do, 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 do. Sorry for that really bad re rendition Clearly, of... The Bigfoots are everywhere. Bad rendition of the X-Files theme tune. I do apologize. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? A tree haiku? How pretty. Wowzer. Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> All right. Photo come up there. There we go. Just missing the bird in the tree. So I'm wondering, is it somewhere around here? Or have I missed out on the bird pick? No, this is the one. I got awesome you. Awesome sauce. It's all photos found in episode one, which nets you another little trophy. Not too sure if there's ten in every episode, but. Who's in this one? That's gorgeous, isn't it? Really nice sunset. Right, gonna have a chat with Chloe. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? 
Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. They'll change to the stormy forest. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. It's getting more and more interesting. Got a ghostly figure of a stag. Leading me up there. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Part 11, the video's just uh, cut out there. Um, I'm sure this will be the, the wrap-up of the uh, the episode. I'm um, just going to pop back to the game to uh, continue on. 
Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. That tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> and now it's snowing. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Well, it's like we're coming to the end of the episode, as I said. I sensed it was uh, pretty close. I've really enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed the game. It's been really twisty, uh, interesting, great dialogue. Um, I like the characters, I like the story. Uh, got a kind of a bit of a Twin Peaks vibe going on to it. Love the time traveling aspect to it. Lots of different characters and personalities. Obviously, you've got a creepy security guard who's uh, surveilling his own family. Obviously all the choices that I've been making throughout the whole entire episode are going to have an effect one way or another. Could be good, could be bad. See Victoria there pulling posters off the wall. Principal there having a drink in his office. Is he hiding something, I wonder? Uh, Mark Jefferson, uh, the teacher back in the classroom. Uh, what's he been up to, if anything? Is anyone actually good in this? Well, you assume Max is and Warren seems a pretty good guy. Chloe's pretty troubled as well. Um, right, oh, ending there with a looking at the file on Rachel. And I've got a trophy called Chrysalis. So there you have it then, guys. That's the end of episode one. As I said, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, really glad I brought the season pass. Obviously, episode two out of time is, uh, is coming real soon. I'll definitely be downloading that. And if you guys have enjoyed the, uh, what's it? Uh, 10 and a bit, almost 11 videos we've got. I'll combine them all together to make a complete episode one. If you've enjoyed it, you want me to continue on doing so, please let me know in the in the comments. Um, and I'll do, obviously, another series of videos for episode two. So then, I think we'll wrap the video up there and I'll get on to some uploading. Uh, credits are not particularly exciting things, are they? So... Yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you on episode two. Thanks a lot.